Good evening. An Nanaimo man had luck on his side after suffering a heart attack during an old-timers hockey game. The 52-year-old says if it wasn't for the quick action of his friends and teammates, he wouldn't be celebrating the new year with his family tonight. A news reporter Brent Shearer has more on the story. He's live in our Mid-Island Bureau tonight. Brent? Eric, just over a year ago, the city of Nanaimo installed automatic external defibrillators, or AEDs, at all of its park, parks and recreation facilities. One of those AEDs at the Nanaimo Ice Centre was put to use for the first time earlier this month. It was midway through an old-timers hockey game like this when 52-year-old Paul Walters felt something strange in the centre of his chest. I thought that it was my asthma, and it was more like a burn. But it wasn't asthma. It was far more serious than that. Walter sat on the bench feeling sick with a severe pain in his chest. He then decided he'd had enough and went to the dressing room to get changed. But the pain continued. Inside the dressing room, Walters asked another player to get help. Fortunately, off-duty paramedic Dave Sheepwash is a teammate. One of the fellows had asked where I was going and, you know, I was in a bit of a hurry. And uh, I said, sounds like Paul's in trouble. So he went and got the AED. He came in, asked me what the problem was. I said the pain was getting worse, and he uh, told the uh, turned around and told the other guy to go get 911. And turned around, and I fell. That was as far as I got. And this is an AED. Dave Sheepwash used this automated external defibrillator, and two other players performed CPR. The first time that we've had to use one of the, one of the defibrillators in the facility. While his teammates worked to save Paul Walter's life, the rest of the hockey players left the ice and headed towards the dressing room. And we rallied and tried to support Paul, and uh, you, there was a lot of yelling and screaming, trying to keep Paul awake and keep Paul with us. I, I just vaguely remember them reviving me and the paramedics there. Um, and then the next time I woke up was two days afterwards. Paul Walters could have died on the floor of this dressing room if it wasn't for the quick action of his friends. You do a lot of reflecting and it hit you afterwards. Just how close you were to you know, losing a good friend. Well, we all take things for granted and I certainly, I'm strong as a bull and I got a little bit of a pain, oh well, just play through it and that, but you have to take some of these things a little bit more serious. In the days that followed, Paul Walters underwent surgery for a blocked artery. He's now at home recovering with his family. In addition to paramedic Dave Sheepwash, Paul Walters also credits his teammates, Jeff Braun and Paul O'Dwyer, for saving his life. They took turns performing CPR until an ambulance arrived. The city of Nanaimo says it is planning to honor all of the lifesavers for their heroic actions at a formal presentation in the coming weeks. Eric? And is Paul back on the ice? He's at home recovering right now. I think it'll be a little bit, but uh, he definitely has plans to lace him up again. All right, thanks, Brent. Thank you. Brent Shearer in Nanaimo.